size too. Bringing this to Audiotistic tomorrow. I need to get my hair touched up. It's, she's, she's going through it. But, next hair appointment isn't until, oops, isn't until December. Ooh. I decided last minute to get this because, oh, oh, okay. I decided last minute to get this because, I don't know, everybody has one, hash, hash me in, and they look so comfy, so comfy, and so, so comfortable, so I thought, why not? So I was like, why would I want to pay $40 for this? But I get it. I understand now. I'm low-key obsessed. I'm going to Audiotistic on Saturday and Sunday. So I can't wait to bring this with me. It's comfy. It's soft. like hot trash right now but it's seven in the morning my friend's gonna come pick me up soon kind of need to get ready for audio autistic but first i need to get coffee because i'm dying and i need the energy my lashes are hanging on by a thread which sucks because i literally just got them last week so i'm already falling I got them specifically for Audio Autistic and Project Z. Alrighty, so what are we gonna put in my bag? Um, tickets. I really am kind of sad that they sent us uh, paper tickets instead of wristbands, but it is what it is, I guess. Got that. High chew, necessities. Um, my vaccination card because you need your vaccination card to get in. Earplugs. I'm gonna get new ones because I hate foam earplugs. Um, oil observing sheets because your girl gets very oily throughout the day. My wallet, but I'm gonna be taking some stuff out so it's just gonna be my card. And finally, my phone charger because we all know I need one.
my eyelash extensions falling out is um, my 13th reason why. I cannot believe I paid $300 for these just for them to fall out only a week later. Annoyed. Okay. Good morning. Um, day two of audio testing today. I'm so tired. Like, I literally cannot feel my body any more tired. Like, my knees and my lower back is destroyed tired. And, um, I don't know how the fuck I did this when I was younger. Like, I would go to, like, three or four day vendors and be okay. But now that I'm, like, old, a lot older to this scene, I just, I don't know what to do anymore. Last night was a lot of fun, though. Um, I wasn't expecting to have that much fun as I did, but it was great. Like... I think it was sold out, the show was sold out, but it didn't feel like it was. There was still a lot of room, a lot of space, and the lineup was pretty stacked, but there's not a problem going back and forth between each stage and going into the crowd and everything, which was really nice. I appreciate it. I hate being like squished like a like a sardines in a can. I hate that feeling. I hate really, really big crowds, so it was actually really nice how I don't know, like how not crowded it was. I don't know what's the best way I can explain it. Like, and most of, for the most part, everybody there was really chill. Like, so many people complimented me last night, even though I looked like shit. So that was nice, especially all like the really, really pretty nice girls. Like, shout out to you. Um, but yeah, I had a really, really good time last night. It was just so cold. Like, I don't know what I was expecting. Well, San Diego doesn't normally get that cold for the most part, so that was my fault. I wore assless chaps last night, but either way, so this today, I'm not going to dress up at all. I'm just going to wear a hoodie and some pants and just chill out because we're not going to stay there super long. We're going to get there a little later than yesterday, so yeah, I'm just today's just going to be a really chill day, and I have... A couple things I have to do before we get ready. Michael's gonna come pick me up again, and then we're gonna go meet up with uh, the rest of the crew, and then we're gonna go there. And we're gonna pre-game before we go in, because those drinks are fucking expensive. Like, $22 for a vodka strawberry lemonade? You got me fucked up. That was so expensive. And then it was like, you got a container, and it was like a $19 refill. I'm like, $19? That's still just as expensive. And then like $10 for jello shots ridiculous so we're, we're definitely gonna pregame before we go in because i'm not about to spend all that money especially because on saturday the 27th i'm going to project z oh i'm going to san diego comic con and i'm going to project z so i need to save all my money for that but yeah anyways see you day two only i would um go to a music festival and then the next day get a 9 a.m brazilian wax just to go to day two so yeah that is my life right now that I cannot stop watching these crime murder television shows because they're so interesting even though they're so sad. Gummy worms. I'm so addicted to gummy worms because I'm all out of high chew. Okay, outfit check for day two. Uh, the brand is called Lychee the label, but yeah, we're gonna leave soon. We're going in later today because there's not that many people that we really want to see. Only a couple that I really care about and then we're gonna leave a little early so yeah more casual than yesterday. Yesterday I had chaps on and I was cold but today should be a little more comfortable and I'm bringing a jacket so yeah see you at day two audio. Your My one true weakness. <laughs> So I just put it like over my tank top for when it gets cold. Or so I just like wear just the shirt. And you just put it over your tank top. Mm. Give me a little bold. Better I'm sorry. Sorry, that was your first buzz ball. That was good. That last sip was brutal, to say the least. I take your time. I got to take off your clothes.
but I also just took a shower. Okay, now that I've had a couple days to decompress from Audio Autistic, I'm gonna talk about some of the things I liked and didn't like. So, things that I liked. I really enjoyed the first day because everybody was super chill and super cool. The vibes, even though that sounds super cringy, was like immaculate. It was awesome, I had a great time. Uh, day two was a little different. There's a little bit more rude people there, not gonna lie, like, people were pushing and shoving and especially at the the main stage, I don't really know why. There was plenty of room for everybody. It was not crowded in the least bit. Nobody knows how to say excuse me. That's all you had to say if you want to get through the crowd. But uh, I stayed mainly in the back and I was still like getting pushed and shoved around. Um, lineup was amazing, I love that. What I didn't like was the fact that the drinks were so expensive. $25 for a vodka strawberry lemonade. That's insane. I'm sorry, but that's crazy. And then $19 to refill because you got like a little souvenir cup. That's crazy. And we still got it because, you know, we wanted to drink and everything. Um, there was only one water station and I was like, I'm not about to wait in that line right there. Uh, I also wish that there was more places to like, I don't know, take pictures. Like, there's some areas that were nice, but you know, it would have been nicer. I think this is Audio Autistic's first year in San Diego, so I guess they were just trying to chest out the water and everything, but I mean overall I had a really good time and if like if it's here again next year I'll definitely go with like the same group of people because I, I had a great time going with my friends. We all had a, a blast. Um, but yeah, overall like I out of 10 I would probably give it like an 8 because there's always room for improvement, but yeah. Just say excuse me when you need to get through the crowd. It's not that hard. And uh, no fan clacking, please. Oh my God. You do not need to clack your fan every three seconds to every song. But uh, yeah, peace out.